Hey there everyone. It's been a long time since we had our last video, but there's been some big changes around here since the last video. Big, big changes. Changing everything about how we do things around here. And it's all because of this stuff right here. This here is a set of 14 inch rolling mill stands out of the former McDonald Steel Corporation in McDonald, Ohio. That plant shut down last year, end of last year, and uh, is, uh, is about ready to be demolished. We were able to get in there and make a deal with the new owners to save some equipment. And uh, <laughs> save we did. I estimate we have about 75 tons worth of uh, equipment that we brought over here. And a centerpiece of all that is, uh, is all this right here. So let's go over what we have. So starting with this, this is called a pinion stand. You have one drive shaft that comes over from the power supply. Now, many of you know, this is what the Todd engine did. It made, it made power to drive a rolling mill. So at Briar Hill, it had rolling mills like this and it had uh, these pinion stands. So the drive shaft would come in to one of these inputs here and there's three sets of gears in there and it would rotate all three so now you had three uh, uh, power takeoffs and so the next one we have here which is uh, um, mill number mill sand number six the top two um, off the pinion would rotate these two rolls and you can see down through here it was kind of making a T section uh, so those are mill guides and then they have the roll that is uh, uh, carved out to make that section and so that that steel would pass through in that direction and then next to it is uh, this mill stand this was number seven so that steel would run through transfer over and then come back through this way here and so now we're looking at the uh, the end here that it would come out towards us uh, of course, that piece of steel also rotated 90 degrees where it came out of those uh, those rolls. Now, in order to have this metal go through in this direction, you would have the middle roll and the top roll rotating that way. And then on this one here, you'd have the middle roll, which would be on the top, and then one at the bottom. So in order to do that, you had to have another shaft that would pass through. So normally, this would be called a three-high mill because you have three rolls uh, stacked on top of each other, but in this case you have this pass-through they call a coffin box uh, It's just a shaft that passes through and then on this side you have a uh, two high stand now Also looking way back here. There's another one another number seven, which is a two high stand So on on this particular mill was set up uh, with these wedges in here and all that I had the ability to take this upper roll and kind of cock it back and forth a little bit in relationship to the bottom one and sometimes that was necessary for um, for the rolling process this other one back here isn't set up this way it's it's set up the uh, the more traditional way with just with just bearing supports and and the like so how did that power get to the pinion stand? Well, it had to go through drive shafts. So um, we decided to save a couple of the drive shafts. Here is a bearing block. Here's another drive shaft over here with a uh, with bevel gear. And then up on the hill, you can barely see it back there behind the containers. But there is a uh, a big bevel gear box back there that uh, that we brought over. So the uh, so what we're going to do here is um, take the entire south side of the Todd building, which is the side where the little green engine house is, and uh, add a 17 foot wide by 60 foot long addition on that side, and install all this machinery on that side. And coupled up to the Todd engine so that if we run the Todd engine at some point in the future we could also make all of this stuff function and if we have all of this stuff in there functioning well you you bet your ass that we're going to get a little forge furnace and we're going to heat up some steel and then we're going to try to roll steel on this mill not with these particular rolls 
uh, because uh, this is a specific product that they were making but it's going to be a, uh, a different style with, with um, probably uh, maybe diamond shaped passes or round passes. So the idea is that maybe we take like a inch and a half square bar, which is something you can buy, and pass it through various you know, passes here on the, on the mill and end up with maybe a flat or a round or a smaller square bar or something. Just enough to show what steel rolling does that you take a shape that's one size and then you squeeze it down to make something else so that's kind of the uh, uh kind of the the goal to do with this stuff now why did we drop everything to uh, start working on this project well this is the last chance to save any of this stuff the early 20th century rolling mills like this are just simply not available anywhere uh especially all this equipment that all works together uh, we had a limited time opportunity at McDonald's Steel. Fortunately, we had enough money in the bank that we were saving up for doing the concrete for the Todd. So we kind of borrowed against that to go in there and buy all this stuff and get it moved over here. And now that we have all this here, now as we replenish our uh, our coffers a little bit, we've, we've knocked back the, uh, uh, the foundation work for the Todd engine until next spring uh, to get our, uh, get our money, you know, back in the account again and the next spring we pour that concrete then we're going to go right over and then start on the uh, foundation for the uh, for this rolling mill and hopefully by the end of next year that we will have all this equipment over there in the position and then after that we'll worry about putting up a uh, um, putting up a building for it so let's go take a look at where this is going to go all right so this is the south side of the building. It's the green engine house. We can come over 17 feet, which puts us right here at this corner. Um, and then this track here will be just outside of the building. It'll pass by the, the, uh, the new south wall. The gearbox for the shaft, there'll be a shaft coming off of the end of the crankshaft of the Todd engine out through the wall here and that gearbox will be somewhere in this area right here then the other shaft will extend this way a little bit and then we'll have the pillow block and then the um, pinion stand and then the two rolling mill stands and all be in this area in this alignment now back on this side uh, against this new wall uh, we're going to have something in here called a roll lathe and a roll lathe is the special type of a lathe used for uh, machining mill rolls to make those various intricate passes and all that. And it's a very uh, crude lathe. Uh, doesn't have a uh, carriage, so to speak. Doesn't have a tailstock. Doesn't have uh, you know anything that you would normally see on a lathe. And we'll go over that in another video what a roll lathe is. But it's kind of the last piece of the puzzle because if we're going to have the engine driven rolling mill you need to have the thing that actually makes the rolls so and it's also the one we're getting was made by the Youngstown Foundry Machine Company so another local piece of history we're saving so as we're envisioning it the uh, the front the first stand the uh, the number seven stand will be somewhere you know right in here and the new floor level will be right there where that line is, where that concrete ends, about two feet above where it's at now. So that floor level will be two feet higher. And it'll come over here, and then there'll be a wall. And there will also be a garage door right here. So basically, we'll have a loading dock from the railroad to the building. Also, this, uh, this front bay right here We'll stay at roughly that same floor level, maybe up a little bit higher, and then come here at this lower level. And then this track, we were at one point thinking about taking this transfer car track and make it, putting a switch in right here and then coming in this way. Well, we can't do that now with everything that's gonna go here. So we're just gonna put a turntable in right here, just, just enough so that whatever we have, I think the locomotives have a five foot wheelbase, so maybe we do like a seven foot turntable. 
in here so that any piece of equipment we have, we can just turn it 90 degrees and then just transfer car right through this bay into that bay so we can move materials back and forth between the bays and also out onto the railroad. Uh, provisions eventually for overhead crane in this bay here because uh, we're going to have to be able to move this stuff around and without a crane there's no way we're going to be able to do much of anything in here. So let's see what the changes are going to be for the for the Todd engine. So you can see you can see that wall so that's carrying that two foot high floor level into here and it'll bump up about another foot to get the concrete underneath the uh, uh, the engine here come out drop down a foot and then carry that that new floor level out into the new bay there will also be a uh, pillow block here uh, for the drive shaft and that's actually a pillow block that we've had here ever since we got to Todd. It came over from Briar Hill, so we're finally gonna be able to use it. And then we'll have one of the drive shafts that I showed you earlier, we'll have to cut it a little bit shorter to fit in here and then make a spindle that goes between that and this universal mill coupling. So we'll basically have to make another mill coupling that goes on that shaft and make the spindle that goes in between. Um, that's probably going to be the most expensive part of the whole process is taking those two drive shafts and cutting them down and then machining them to the new, uh, you know, smaller dimensions. Uh, and then also having a mill coupling made and the spindle that goes with it. So those are going to be the, probably the, the greatest expense and the thing that's going to take the longest to do. Uh, but I'm um, hoping that we find somebody who has big machines and a soft heart and can show a little pity for us trying to build this rolling mill with nothing <laughs> and offer some machining services. Um, if not, then we'll just have to do it as we get money. So, um, so eventually here, uh, you know, this, this project went from just getting the Todd engine running uh, on steam with maybe, you know, two of the Porter locomotives providing the steam to, to spin it over. Now with the rolling mill equipment, now we can turn it into actually a small rolling mill, steam driven rolling mill, all built from the ground up. Uh, and with everything in this coming from Youngstown. So all that equipment I showed you out there, everything from McDonald's steel was all designed and made in Youngstown by Carnegie Steel. Their own, their own shop forces did all that work, um, including the design work on it, on, the, on the, all the equipment, building McDonald plant from the ground up, all that, they did it all themselves. So everything that we're doing here is all in preserving local uh, Youngstown history. So, oh, well, one last thing I wanna show you here today We've been working on on something, which is getting the nuts on the uh, on the flywheel. One of the other things we bought out of McDonald Steel is this two and a half inch Ingersoll Rand uh, air impact, and using that to put these nuts on. And some of them go on real nice. That one it's it's on right now is being a real pain in the rear. I've got like three more three more threads to go before it tightens up. And she just doesn't want to move much. So heating the nut up and trying to get it to go on there. So we're just going to keep working on it. We'll get it. Yeah, we're not going to let it uh, get the best of us. <laughs> so, so at any rate, that's what's going on here. Lots of big changes. Had to postpone a few things to make this all happen. But we're going to have an actual steam-driven rolling mill. Now, this is something that I've wanted to do ever since... I got the Todd engine, always wanted to find a rolling mill for it to operate because it just gives, helps give it context as of what it did. But yeah, like, like I'm going to find a small enough rolling mill and all the parts to, to do that. So that was always one of those things like, well, you know, and it was kind of one of those, if I win the lottery level dreams. Um, but the plant shut down. I wish it wouldn't have. It was a very historic facility to begin with, but once it did, 
now this stuff became available. We jumped in, grabbed it, and got as much as we can uh, to do this project. And I'm going through the entire plant, saving original engineering drawings, uh, original um, you know ink on linen drawings, uh, going through the various offices and all that, finding you know in the machine shop, finding the three wing binders that told you how to machine the parts and all that, and and talking to everyone and, and, and finding all the little templates and all the little things that you need beyond engineering drawings to actually make stuff happen. We're getting everything, everything we can, even the foundry patterns. You can see up on top here, there's a couple of foundry patterns there. Uh, there's additional ones out there that are, that are at, at foundry, so we're getting all that stuff back. So I wanna have everything here that we need in order to get this rolling mill together and operating and actually rolling steel so this is we're just balls to the wall at mcdonald every day for the last three weeks just pulling stuff in getting bringing as much stuff over as we can we'll take a break later on and and figure out what it is we actually have but right now we're just 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 hauling the stuff in and uh then we're going to hit it full speed i mean you know how i do things i'm not waste, wasting time we're going to get this done we're going to be rolling steel with the todd engine here or two or three years however long it takes but there you go. That's what's going on. <laughs> now it's a good day to be in steel industry preservation in Youngstown, Ohio. All right, everyone. Take care.